Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. If you're watching this video, then you're looking at the ScanSnap iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner, and you're asking yourself some questions like, how is it different from a standard ScanSnap iX1600? What kind of features does it have? And how can it help me? The answers to these questions are exactly what we're going to look at in this video. I'll be unboxing and reviewing the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner, showing you everything that comes in the box, explaining about its features, and telling you about how its features go beyond a standard ScanSnap iX1600. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can download my guide which contains an easy to use feature checklist and answers to frequently asked questions. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you end up buying this scanner, please be sure to use my Amazon affiliate link so that Amazon will send me a small commission at no cost to you. The first thing I'll do here is unbox the scanner and show you everything that's included. Basically, everything that comes in the box is the same as what comes with a standard ScanSnap iX1600. And I already made that review video, so if you want to see the specific details regarding the contents, please check out that video. And although the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner and standard iX1600 are very similar, there are a few important unboxing differences that I'll highlight. First, as you can see, when I open the box, the receipt guide is already installed. Because the focus of this scanner is to scan receipts and invoices, the manufacturer pre-installed the receipt guide so that it's ready to use. The purpose of the receipt guide is to ensure that when you're scanning, that you're feeding the items into the middle of the scanner, not bunching them up on the left or right side. If you try to scan on the left or right side, you'll see that it actually won't work. If you ever want to take the guide off, it's made of flexible plastic and it simply bends out like this, and to put it back on, you bend it in like this. The second thing I'll note is that the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner has different branding here and has Ricoh branding instead of Fujitsu branding. On this note, lots of people have been asking me about the differences between Fujitsu and Ricoh scanners and why there are identical looking models. In short, they're basically the same thing. Ricoh and Fujitsu are both large companies that make information technology products. On September 1st, 2022, Ricoh purchased Fujitsu scanning division and brought it under the Ricoh brand. Scanners made before April 2023 are branded as Fujitsu, and scanners made after April 2023 are branded as Ricoh. But aside from having different branding, the Fujitsu and Ricoh scanners are exactly the same. Okay, so now that I've got the scanner out of the box, the setup process is exactly the same as with a standard ScanSnap iX1600. If you need any help with that, please see the review video that I made about the standard ScanSnap iX1600. In terms of size, weight, appearance, performance, features, speed, connectivity, and all other factors, the iX1600 Receipt Edition is basically the same as a standard iX1600. The iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner can do everything that a standard iX1600 can do in terms of scanning documents, photos, cards, and other items. However, the big difference is that the iX1600 Receipt Edition has features that a standard ScanSnap iX1600 doesn't. The iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner integrates with bookkeeping software like QuickBooks Online, which is also known as QBO. As you can see here on the user interface, I have a button which allows me to scan directly to my QBO account. Please keep in mind that at this point, the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner integrates only with QuickBooks Online, and you need to have your own QBO account. It doesn't come with a QuickBooks Online subscription, and it doesn't connect to the desktop version. And while at the moment it works only with QBO, this scanner is new as of October 31st, 2023, so ideally in the future, additional kinds of bookkeeping and accounting software will be added and supported. Okay, so now that I've got the scanner out of the box and set up, you can see that I have a QuickBooks Online button here on the touchscreen. This isn't a button that you'll see on a standard iX1600. By scanning with this button, your data will go directly to your QBO account. It doesn't use ScanSnap Cloud or any other cloud service as an intermediary. We're not putting any data into the cloud and then moving it over to QuickBooks Online. It goes right from your device to your QBO account every time you scan. The first time you scan using the QuickBooks Online button, a sign-up window will come up so that you can connect your QBO account. If you don't have a QuickBooks Online account, please check out my other video in which I walk you through the basic steps. Once you enter your username and password, click Sign In and then click the button that says Connect. Once you're connected, you'll see your company name here at the top of this window. Now before I click export to complete the scan job and upload the information to my QBO account, I'll make sure that all the information is correct. Under type, I'll keep it as a receipt. Under transaction type, I'll keep it as an expense. 
It automatically detected the vendor name, but I'll clean up the formatting a little bit. Under Payment Account, I'll select Uncategorized Asset. As you can see, it automatically detected the date, which is very handy, so I'll leave that as is. Under Payment Type, I can see from the receipt that I used cash, so I'll select cash. I'll leave reference number blank, and because this is a receipt for digital printing, I'll change the category to advertising and add that to the description and add a note in the memo field. And just as it automatically detected the date, it also automatically detected the amount. So I'll leave that as is as well. Next, I'll click export. And as you can see, when I go into my QuickBooks online account, all the information is there. And if I want to look at the PDF of the scanned receipt, I can click here to view it online or download it to my device. I can also view a copy of the receipt that was scanned and stored on my computer in ScanSnap Home, or I can open it in Adobe Acrobat or whatever software I'm using to work with PDF documents. And while going further into the details of using the software and configuring QuickBooks Online is beyond the scope of this video, I hope that you can see from the small demonstration I made how powerful the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner is. No matter if you're a new startup business and have only a handful of receipts and invoices, or if you're an established company with thousands of receipts to scan, the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner is purpose-built to help you scan these items into your QBO account so that you can get the job done faster, easier, and with greater accuracy. So what have we learned in this video? In short, the new iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner offers specific integrations with bookkeeping software to help you organize receipts and invoices. Whereas a receipt contains information about money that you paid to someone else, an invoice contains information about money that someone else owes to you. Because the lifeblood of any business is the money that's coming in and out, it's extremely important to do a good job of managing this information. When it comes to the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner, there are a few important things to remember. First, it does everything that a standard ScanSnap iX1600 does, which means that in addition to scanning receipts and invoices, it also scans paperwork, photos, cards, and all kinds of other documents. But it's specifically designed to help businesses complete bookkeeping and accounting work. Second, at current, because the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner was launched only recently, it currently only works with QuickBooks Online, which is also known as QBO. It doesn't work with any QuickBooks software installed directly on your computer, and it doesn't come with a QBO subscription. In the future, ideally more kinds of accounting software will be added. Third and last, in terms of cloud computing, it doesn't rely on ScanSnap Cloud or any other cloud service aside from QuickBooks Online. It scans directly from your scanner to QBO. At the end of the day, if you plan to specifically scan many receipts and invoices for business use, the iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner may be the best one on the market for you. Okay, so before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's anything that you have questions about that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my videos in which I unbox the standard ScanSnap iX1600, review it, and show you how to install and set up the ScanSnap Home software. If you end up purchasing a ScanSnap iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon, which will support me and my channel. If you'd like to see some comparison videos on other scanners, please check out my videos in which I compare the ScanSnap iX1600 with the smaller but powerful ScanSnap iX1300 desktop scanner, and my video in which I compare the ScanSnap iX1600 with the larger, more powerful FI8170 business class desktop scanner. So with that, there you have it. That's my review of the ScanSnap iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner. If you'd like to download my simple guide, which contains an easy to use feature checklist and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandillman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman.